we have this example, no? the voltage of a single phase transformer is 500 volts pri primary and 500, 5,000 volts primary and 500 volts secondary. No? So calculate the number of turns in each winding if the maximum number of flux in the core is 7.82 milli. Weber. No? So the unit for flux is uh, Weber. No? Weber. Okay. So solution here. So we need to find okay, solution. So we are required to find the the number of terms in each winding. So we need to find n one and N2, no? So we are given with our primary uh, voltage, which is 500, uh, 5,000 volts, and the secondary no? voltage, which is 500 volts, no? We are also given with the number of flux, no? Our Q sub, uh, P sub M, which is 7.82 milli weaver. Okay. So, let's just move that one up here no? so that we could have a space for our solution. Okay. So, from the EMF equation of a transformer, so we know that E sub 1, or the primary voltage, is equal to 4.44 F P sub M and 1. No? So from this alone, we could say we could now uh, solve for our um, N1, no? But I guess there is nothing with the problem. So we don't have a frequency, no? So let me check first in the book. Okay, so that is 50 hertz. We could write that one in the problem itself. That will be... So this will be 50 hertz. Okay. So F is equal to 50 hertz. No? So 50 hertz transformer. Okay. Let's just go back here. No? So our F. So our F is equal to 50 hertz. Okay, so solving for N1, so we have N1 is equal to E sub 1 over 4.44 F P sub M. So from the given, our E sub 1 is 500 volts. Then our, um, our 4.44 no below then our frequency is 50 hertz then we have our q sub m as 7.82 that will be 7.82 so that is milli so that will be times 10 to the power of negative 3 weaver maybe we should put this one here will be 500 volts. Okay. So using our calculator, no? so just see if I could have the calculator on the screen. No? So this is the calculator here. No? Okay. So that will be we have uh, 500 volts, uh, 5,000 volts over 4.44 times 50 times 7.82 um, raised to the power uh, times 10 is power of negative 3. Okay? Then our answer will be will be okay, so we will have um 2,880, no? 
um, turns, you know? So it will be our n sub 1, you know? Or the primary turn. So 2,880 turns, you know? So can you check also with your calculator, no? If that is 2,880 turns. Uh, let's see here. Mainly, okay. So 2,280.11. So we just drop the uh, the decimal because the number of terms could not be uh, uh, in in fraction or in decimal. So it must be a whole number. So we just drop the um, 0.11. No? Okay. Then for the secondary, we, we just use the uh, turns ratio. No? So we have here the Let's move here. So a sub 1 over a sub 2 is equals to n sub 1 over n sub 2. And from this um, this uh, ratio and proportion, so we could say our n sub 2 is equal to n sub 1 times a sub 2 over a sub 1. So just cross multiply. No? So we will have 2,880 times a sub 2 is equal to 500 volts okay all over a sub 1 which is 5000 volts so you can just cancel this one out then we'll now be using our calculator so we have 2880 uh, times 500 all over 5000 Okay. And that will be equal to 288, no? This will be equal to 288 turns, no? So this is your answer for the secondary turn, and this is the answer for the primary turns. We have this problem, so a single phase transformer is connected to a 660 volt supply. So the voltage to turn ratio of the transformer is found to be 440 volts. So we need to determine the following, you know, the, uh, the primary and the secondary turns and the sectional, cross-sectional area of the core if the maximum flux density is 1.4 Tesla. So the symbol, uh, the unit for flux density is Tesla. So the symbol is one, no? T. Okay. So solution. So we have here the solution. First, we will write the given. So we have the primary voltage so it is connected to a 650 volt supply so this will be our primary voltage so a sub 1 that will be 660 volts then the voltage to turn ratio uh, so the voltage to turn ratio so that will be uh, what we know uh, what we know as voltage to turn so that will be a sub 1 over n1 is equal to 1 so that will be one point. So I have forgot to note that one. The voltage to turn ratio of the transformer is 1.11, 1 1.1. Okay. It's found to be 1.1. So found to be 1.1, 1 1.1, 1 .1 and the secondary. So this will be the secondary. Standard is 440 volts, no? So the turns ratio is 1.1, 1 .1, okay? Then we have the secondary voltage. So we have the A sub 2, that will be also 440 volts, no? So this turns uh, voltage to turn ratio, so that will be also equal for 
the secondary uh, voltage and the secondary winding. No? Then what else? Okay, so that could be the event. No? So now we will be solving for the turns ratio. No, the number of terms for the secondary and the primary. Okay. So for the first requirement. So using our voltage to turn ratio, this one here. So voltage turn, so that is A sub 1 over N sub 1 is equal to 1.1. So solving for N1, no? so we should say that 1 as A sub 1 over 1.1. Okay. And run out of space. Okay. So we will have that one as 660 volts over 1.1. And that will be equal to, so we have here, 660 divide 1.1. That will be 600. No? So we will have 600 volts. No? So that will be our, no, not 600 volts, but 600 turns no? so that will be the our primary turns no? for a for n sub 2 so we we'll use the voltage to turn ratio for the secondary which is also equal to 1.1 so solving for our uh the so solving for the terms of the secondary so we will have a sub 2 over 1.1 which is equal to 440 volts over 1.1 and our N sub 2 is equal to, so that will be 4, 440 divided by 1.1, it will be equal to 400. So this will be equal to 400 volts. Okay, now we have our secondary turns. Why am I always thinking of volts for the unit of the turns? No? So, 600 and 400 turns for the primary and the secondary turns respectively. Then we will now be uh, solving no? for the, uh, the cross-sectional area. No? The cross cross-sectional area of our core given our flux density of um, 1.4 tesla the maximum flux density so if we are going to use the primary no, the uh, primary voltage equation which is equal to 4.44 f no, because we are required to solve for the area so we need to use the one given the flux density so that will be equal to area the maximum flux density times our uh, primary turns. No? So solving for our area, no? so we could have that one as area is equal to A sub 1 over 4.44 in our frequency. Okay, our frequency times the uh, maximum flux density and our N1, okay? We run out of space again. Okay. So, we have solved for our turns, no? Number of turns for the primary. We have also the flux density, but we don't have the frequency no so the standard frequency if we will consider this problem no on uh, on the philippine sitting so our standard frequency for the ac system is equal to 60 hertz so if the frequency is not given no? we will consider as 60 hertz if the if the if the setting is not in the philippines for example in india or in japan so you will use frequency as 50 hertz now but if you assume that this problem is in the philippine sitting no? so we will use our standard frequency of 60 hertz okay 
So now we could solve for our area. So we have, so this is 660 volts for our primary times 4.44. Then we have 60 hertz for our frequency. Then our uh, flux density, which is 1.4 Tesla. Then our number of turns of the primary, which you have solved, which is 600 hertz. Okay, then we'll just use our calculator to solve for the area. 660 over um, 4.44 uh, 4 times 60 times 1.4 times 600. Okay, that will be equal to... Okay, 2.94, no? Raise uh, 2.95. No? So at least two decimal places. If we have, if we have a if we have a um, answer which is a non-terminating decimal, no? So just two decimal places, no? So that we could have a uniform answer later on, especially in, during our quiz. So 2.95 times 10 to the power of negative three. So the unit for this one because the the unit for flux density is Tesla, that is uh, Weber per square meter. So our unit for this one is in square meter. No? And this is now our answer for our area. Then this is for the uh, second, secondary and 600 turns for the primary. 